Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect, and today we're gonna learn how to add advanced selective contrast to really bring out the dimension in your images. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop, and if you wanna go ahead and download this photo, check the links in the description. You already know what to do. So first of all, we need to add a curves adjustment layer. All right, so click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. Now let's brighten things up. Okay, so click a point on the right and we need to make the bright areas brighter. Take it up. Now keep in mind in the curves, the right areas represent the bright pixels, left areas dark pixels. So click a point on the right, make it brighter. This is a simple curve. Now here comes the best part. What if we selectively just apply the curve only in the bright areas by using blend if so double click on the right hand side of the layer and using the blend if take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right we just want only the bright areas to be affected okay just like so okay now as you can see it's very harsh so what do we do hold the alt or option click on the slider break it up and then make it broader like that okay this only affects the bright areas now nothing else everything else is hidden if you try to over brighten it like like that it only affects those areas and nothing else and that's the best part all right now let's simply brightening up brighten it up just a little bit like that not so much just a little bit okay now have a look at the dimension before after Amazing, isn't it? You can name this highlights if you want to. And let's create one more curves adjustment layer. As you already guessed, we will name this shadows. You can also create one for midtones. That's totally upon you. Okay, now let's take this down. Like that. Now, we don't want the bright areas to be affected in this case. Double click on the right hand side of the layer and Take it away from the bright areas. This is fine. Hold the Alt or Option, break it up, and keep it keep it somewhere around this way. Okay, okay, all right. Now make it even more darker. Now have a look at this. Isn't this amazing? So let's have a look at the overall before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Now if you don't want the curves adjustment layer to affect the colors of it, you can always change the blend mode to luminosity. This prevents the curves adjustment layer to affect the colors all right if it's not affecting the colors as in this case doesn't really matter normal is fine but if that's changing the colors change the blend mode to luminosity because it means that we are saying to Photoshop affect only the luminosity which means the brightness and not the color all right now it pretty much looks great what you can also do you can add one more curves adjustment layer okay add one more curves adjustment layer and you can target the extremely bright areas like this and double click on the right hand side and just the extremely bright highlights like that hit okay before after before after see the extremely bright areas you can create as many curves adjustment layers as you like what are we doing is we are targeting just specific areas based upon luminosity or brightness all right so let's create one more curves and we're just playing we're just playing all right so we will try to affect the midtones this time let's see what happens not the dark areas so much maybe the dark areas just the midtones like that and it looks great let's decrease the opacity of this because it's too much yeah that looks awesome. So let's have a look at the before and after, before, after, before, after. Massive difference. But you can also do, you can convert this into a black and white. So let's create a black and white adjustment layer. But before we do that, you can make a group of all of this. Select the first one, hold the shift key, select the last curves adjustment layer, control or command G. And by the way, you can name this midtones or whatever you like, you can just name them. These are just jargons. Control or command G, and you can name this probably. Mm, advanced contrast just look fancy before after now let's make it black and white click on the adjustment layer icon and choose black and white adjust it the way you like it take down the reds a little bit take down the yellows as well 
and the others don't do a thing because there are no other colors. Okay, all right. Now on top of this, to enhance the light, what we can also do add a levels adjustment, le? okay? And then take the slider, this slider from the right to the left. Now this slider makes the bright areas darker and this slider makes the dark areas brighter. We don't want that. You wanna make the bright areas darker like this, okay? This is just like a vignette that we are adding. Make sure the mask is selected. Take the brush, make sure the foreground color is black, opacity and flow at 100. The brush should be hard, not soft, hard. And then click in the middle like this, okay? Press Control or Command T to adjust it, just as a spotlight on him, like that. I kind of love it. Now let's rotate it like this, like that. And right click on it and choose Distort. Just distort it like a spotlight. Looks wonderful, doesn't it? All right. Now once you're done, once you have done it, hit enter and then add feather to it, simple. So make sure the mask is selected. Click on the mask to open up the properties of the mask. If you cannot see the properties, go to windows and then make sure properties is checked. Just add feather to it, simple. So 142, 150 is fine. You can adjust it anytime you like. Select the mask, press control or command T. You can just make it smaller or bigger, do whatever you like. Just adjust it from the sides. All right, that is great. You can just, okay, this is great. Now you can also change the blend mode to probably soft light, see how that looks, or maybe overlay. Overlay is good, before, after, before, after, really add something to the image. So let's go 200. All right, so there we go. Let's have a look at the before and after. Let's fit the image to the canvas by pressing Control or Command zero, and then let's have a look. So this is the before, this, is the after. Look at the difference. At any point of time, what you can also do, open up the advanced contrast group. And then suppose you didn't want the extreme highlights on the face, so you would simply select this mask and paint black in on the face, inside of the mask. So you didn't want it on the face. For example, you didn't want probably this on the jeans. So you would select the highlights and paint black in just on the jeans. It was anyway taking the attention away. We don't want it on the jeans. All right, so there we go. You can add many, make in many adjustments as you like. So let's have a look at the extreme highlights. I think it's too much. You can always decrease the opacity of this one to this and we are pretty much done. You can add a global contrast as well at the end. Let's create one more curves and add one more kind of contrast to really and add a fade to it. So there you go. Looks wonderful, doesn't it? Before, after. So that's how to add advanced selective contrast in Photoshop. Now simply all you have to do, create a curves adjustment layer, brighten it up. If you want to affect just the highlights, use the blend diff, take it away from the dark areas. If you want to affect just the dark areas, create a curves adjustment layer, take it down, do whatever you like, or maybe you want to brighten up the dark areas, then take it up. And using blend diff, just target the dark areas. So that's all there is, the combination of blend diff, curves, and probably blend modes as well. So I hope this video was helpful and if this was, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.